This is the grouchy ladybug. It's a little bit of a, a long story, but it's pretty good. You ready to start reading it? Yeah, but this is the author write the book. Yep, the author did write the book. And do you know who the author is? Do you know what his name is? Um, the illustrator. Well, yeah. Well, the illustrator drew the pictures. But you want to know something, Niall? Mm -hmm. The illustrator and the author are the same people in this book. And the author and illustrator is Eric Carl. Now, can you say hi to Lisa and say happy birthday? Birthday. <laughs> Are you ready to start reading? All right. You want to help me hold the book? Can you set up these like a big kid? Yeah, but, but do, do, do. Don't mind my cat in the background. All right. Ready? The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carl. Do, do, do the author. Does does the illustrators live in live in a different world? No, maybe we'll talk about that later. Okay, we're gonna read the book right now. It was it was night, and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in from from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it, and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then, a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. Now, do you know what grouchy means? What does grouchy mean? Um, get mad. Like mad, right? Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're mine, all mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? If you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly, and looked the other bug straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. It puffed itself and it flew away. At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. Now, do you know what a yellow jacket is? A, a yellow jacket looks like a bee. Well, a yellow jacket is a bee. It's just a different name for it. It met a yellow jacket. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger, Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At seven o'clock, it met a stag beetle. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, you want to fight? And that one in that thing looks like a scorpion. It looks like a scorpion because of the claws? Mm -hmm. If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey, you said the grouchy ladybug. What's the grouchy ladybug gonna say? Um, you're not big. Mm, you wanna fight? If you insist, says, if you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with its long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and he flew off. At nine o'clock, it owned it. Uh, sorry. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. What that, were you going to say? That thing, that thing looks like, looks like, looks like, um, um, an uh, owl. An owl? It's a bird. It's a sparrow. It's a kind of bird. At 10 o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching its claws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At 11 o'clock, it, it bumped into a skunk. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. And what did he do? 
He flew off. off. Ooh. Skunk, skunk smells bad. Yeah. At 12 o'clock, it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Sometimes. You want to fight? Now, y'all, hold on. Let me finish, okay? If you insist, said the snake right after lunch. Right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. What were you going to say, now? Um, snakes. Snakes could look like that. Yeah, a boa constrictor is a really, 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 really big snake. At 1 o'clock, it, hap it happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Can you help me finish it? Wanna fight? Wanna fight? If you insist, if you insist on the hyena laughing eerily and showing off its teeth, oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and he flew off. At two o'clock, it met a, a gorilla. A gorilla. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Can you help me? Wanna say, fight. wanna fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and he flew off. Yes, ma'am. Um, why is it, why is his face blue? Because maybe the illustrator wanted to make his face blue. Yep. At three o'clock, Niall, I can't see. At three o'clock, Niall, at three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, you wanna, you wanna, you want to fight? Yeah. If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and he flew off. Now, we're going to go to the next page, okay? Yeah. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. You want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusk. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and he flew off. Yeah, but... Why, why do elephants like to drink water? Why do you like to drink water? It's because, it's because I don't like soda. Okay, we're going to keep reading the book. Okay, now. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? But the whale did not answer at all. You're not big enough anyway. And the grouchy ladybug flew off. Now, why do you think the ladybug, why do you think the whale can't hear the ladybug? It's because whales don't talk. Because whales don't talk? You think it's because he's so, so little that he can't hear his voice because he's so tiny? No, it's because he's big. That's why he can't, that's why he can hear his, hear his, hear his, hear his ears. Okay. F. At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's flippers, Hey, you! Want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale, to the whale's fin, Hey, you! Want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At a quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, Hey, you, want to fight? And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug such a slap that it flew across the sea and across the land. Mm -hmm. Who do you think is bigger, the ladybug or the whale? Who won? Who won? The whale won because he's big. At six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived back where it started. And here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. Soon, all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said, thank you, said the leaf. You are welcome, answered the answered both ladybugs, and they went to sleep. The fireflies, who had been sleeping all day, came out to dance around the moon. The end. Now, 
Do you think that the grouchy ladybug is grouchy still, or do you think he's not grouchy anymore? Why? Why? Because. Because the whale beat him up? That's because. It's because of. Um, um, the ladybug won. Because the ladybug won? You think the ladybug won? Well, Niall says the ladybug won. I think the whale won. Lady Bubble. Well, whatever, mister. Can you say bye to everybody? Bye. Say thank you. Say thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Bye, guys. Shoot, shoot.